Do you want to learn what is an RFID system, how to interface an RFID module, how to read the identification numbers of multiple takes, and then how to use those takes to perform specific tasks by the controller? Then watch this tutorial from start to the very end. Let's get started. This is the MFRC522 RFID module that we will be using today. RFID means a radio frequency identification. RFID uses electromagnetic fields to transfer data over short distances. You can use an RFID system to open a door. It can be used to make a student attendance system. It can be used to control a machine. It can be used in cars and bikes for anti-theft protection. In upcoming tutorials, we will be using RFID system in so many different projects. For example, number one, door opening system. Number two, product inquiry system. Number three, student's attendance system. Number four, car and bike anti-theft system. Number five, electrical loads controlling. Number six, hotel room management and much more. Yes, this is my first video on RFID system. So in today's episode, we will cover only the basics like RFID module pinouts, SPI bus explanation, interfacing how to read takes and then how to use them using Arduino programming. Watch this tutorial completely as we will be using the same RFID module and takes in upcoming tutorials. So first of all, let's start with its spinouts. The first pin is the VCC and this will be connected with 3.3 volt of the Arduino. Pin number 2 is the RST or Reset. Pin number 3 is the ground while the MISO pin, MOSI pin, SCK pin and NSS pin. These four pins are the SPI pins and will be connected with the Arduino SPI pins. In Arduino the SPI pins are Pin number 13 is the SCK, pin number 12 is the MISO, pin number 11 is the MOSI, and pin number 10 is the SS. What is SPI? SPI stands for Serial Peripheral Interface. It is a synchronous serial data bus. Data can travel in both directions at the same time, as opposed to, for example, the I2C bus that cannot do so. To allow synchronous data transmission, the SPI bus uses four wires they are called MOSI, Master Out, Slave In. This line carries data from our Arduino to the SPI controlled devices. MISO, Master In, Slave Out. This line carries data from the SPI controlled devices back to the Arduino. SS Slave Select. This line tells the device on the bus we wish to communicate with it. Each SPI device needs a unique SS line baked to the Arduino. SCK Serial Clock. While the last pin IRQ is not used. The interfacing is really easy as this module has male header pins. So we can use male to female type jumper wires to connect RFID module with Arduino. As you can see I have already connected 7 jumper wires. Now let's connect these jumper wires with Arduino. First of all connect the VCC of the RFID module with 3.3 volt of the Arduino. Now connect the reset pin of the RFID module with pin number 9 of the Arduino. Now connect the ground pin of the RFID module with the ground of the Arduino. Now connect the MISO pin of the RFID module with pin 12 of the Arduino. Now connect the MOSI pin of the RFID module with pin 11 of the Arduino. Now connect the SCK pin of the RFID module with pin 13 of the Arduino. And now finally connect the NSS pin of the RFID module with pin 10 of the Arduino. So that's it. The interfacing is completed. This is the program written for finding the identity number of RFID takes. 
before you can control anything using RFID system first you need to find out the identity number of each tag and then you can use that identity number to identify an RFID tag to control anything you want I will provide a link in the description from where you can download this code as I told you that this RFID module communicates with the controller using SPI bus in Arduino and Mega the SPI pins are different if you are using Arduino then connect the pins in the same way as I connected but if you want to use Mega then connect RST with pin 5 SS with pin 53 MOSI with pin 51 MISO with pin 50 and SCK with pin 52 before you start the programming first of all make sure that you download these two libraries you can download these libraries from github after you download the necessary folders then simply copy and paste them into the arduino's libraries folder as you can see i already downloaded these two libraries so now as you can see this is a small program written to find the identity number of the tags you can find this code in the MFRC522 examples folder or you can copy this code from my blog page. Link given in description. Let's upload this code by clicking on the upload button and wait for a while. Now click on the serial monitor. Now select any tag and bring it near the RFID module. As you can see it successfully read the RFID tag. Now write down this value as we will be using this in our program. Now repeat these steps for the remaining tags and write down the identity numbers. Now let's open another program and use these takes to send caught detected and keychain detected messages to the serial monitor. Module connections remains the same. This program can be downloaded from my blog page. I will provide a link in the description. Defining cards here. Now we use the F conditions to check the card IDs. So over here you can see I'm using serial dot print ln car detected so this message will be sent when a card is detected and when a keychain is detected then we will be sending the keychain detected message to a serial monitor now let's upload this program by clicking on the upload button and wait for a while Now click on the serial monitor. As you can see we successfully detected both the cards. I hope you liked today's episode, like and share this video with your friends. See you in next episode and thanks for watching.